All right, y'all. So you just saw what happened. Um, that actually felt a lot worse than it looked. So reason being, because I, I, I bumped that curb and it sent me out into the grass at like 100 miles an hour. So it was pretty sketchy. But anyways, uh, so if you notice, I don't know if you noticed, but what I figured out was I turned in, I don't know, I want to say six, maybe eight feet too early. And it just put me in this one spot of the, the inside curb early on the apex. And it just bumped the car out. And rather than me trying to save it and maybe drop one or two wheels into the dirt where the rumble strip is, like right outside of it, uh, if you notice, I kind of just turned the wheel back out into the grass because in my opinion, that was the lesser of two evils. So if I would have dropped either one or both you know, driver's side wheels into the dirt, more than likely it would have sent me across the track. And right on the other side of, of the tarmac is uh, a wall. So rather than dropping a wheel and then getting sent across and maybe into the wall, I just took my chances. I said, let me ride the grass and uh, I'll deal with the consequences from there. So in my opinion, that was the lesser of two weevils. But I've got to say that was a wild one. Um, but yeah, pulled right in. And I got to say huge thank you to my buddy, Steven. He is the real MVP. He wasted no time, grabbed the jack, the jack stands, lifted the car up, uh, and went to town on starting to take out the grass and dirt that was jammed underneath the car and the, the rear control arms and the exhaust right up against the fuel tank, um, the brake calipers, the wheels had chunks of grass in them still. Uh, while he did all of that, I took apart you know, the front bumper, I dropped the front splitter, I had to straighten out all the brackets because those were, were kind of toasted. Um, and then the radiator was packed full of, full, full, full of grass. The engine bay was covered in dust and grass and stuff. So uh, while I attacked the front end, he took care of underneath. And without him, I definitely wouldn't have been able to get out for the next session. You know, we finished with maybe 10, 15 minutes to spare. Gave me the opportunity to check my oil, check my tire pressures, and then get back out there. So huge, huge thank you to Steven for that. Um, but yeah, so that was that was fun. I'm super excited about how well I did at uh, Thunderbolt. Definitely could have done better because that, that was the third session of the day and that kind of freaked me out a bit. Uh, so after that, I was taking it really easy around turn three. So I definitely could have done better for the last session of the day, which is the one you're going to see now. But overall, you know, my last session, I was able to, to bring my times down to a, a minute 37.793, 794, something like that. I'll put the number up. But yeah, that was my fastest time of the day. Uh, it was good enough to secure me. I'll wait and I'll, I'll you'll see at the end what place I got at the end of the day. But yeah, so... You know, I'm hoping to get back sooner than later. I really want to get down into the 35s, maybe even a dabble into the 34s. I know the car's got it. I just got to grow a pair and send it, you know, lick the stamp, let it go. Um, so, yeah, let's check out this last session. <laughs>
man. Come on. Okay. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 